it's not just a haircut, it's everything that you do before you walk in here. Um, it's creating a vibe, it's creating a safe space for someone, and then it's also giving them that image of how they feel inside outwards. My name is Elmez Wilder and my occupation is barber and owner of Ritual Barber Shop here in Vernon, BC. I was adopted from Romania at three and a half years old from Canadian parents here. And I grew up with them for my whole life, called them mom and dad. Um, and then I went to Vancouver, did hair school down there and came back here. Becoming a barber was one of those things that my mom would say that I would be good at. She said when I was a kid, I'd always like pick at her hair. She called me her little monkey. And my mom was like, why don't you just become a barber? Um, and I haven't looked back since. The process of being trans was a bit of a journey for me. Um, in my 20s, I definitely had conversations in my heads and uh, to my partners at the time that I could be trans, but I didn't really want to look at myself about that. We didn't actually, unfortunately, have the opportunity or language growing up in my day that, um, that we could even have that opportunity to be trans. After a bit, when I met my wife, she gave me the opportunity and she knew me better than anybody else. Um, the safety and the, the vulnerability to be, be who I am, to be trans, that is when I started coming out and was about 28 years old. When I got to physically transition, I was lucky enough to go to my local doctor here in town and um, I got to be on testosterone right away. And once I started seeing things like my voice drop, my you know, hair on my face, uh, changes in my body, everything felt just calm. For the very first time, I just felt exactly who I was meant to be. I didn't get much of a process to slowly come out. I had to rip off the band-aid and do a PR public email to all of my friends and family and my, uh, and my clients. Vernon is a small town. Every barbershop that I looked at was very old school for men only, and that is not something that I wanted to create. I wanted to create a queer friendly, modern, um, cool vibe and I knew that I needed to create it. Personally, for my clientele, it is a lot of queer friendly people, LGBT members, and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm passionate about hair because it's one of those things when you have a canvas and then you create something, it is the most satisfying result and it's an instant gratification to you and your client as well. It makes them feel good. I love making people feel good. And for my queer clientele, it is something even more than just feeling good. It is how they want to present in this world and it means a lot. Trans people are in industries and the reason why we need to be here and show more is that it will allow people to realize that, oh, so-and-so can do this. Oh, so-and-so is doing that. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. We are everywhere. When someone feels confident within the space, I feel like I did what I was meant to do. Uh, I did my job to the best of its ability. And it's the, it is the most best way to get gassed up. Uh, my head grows like 17 times larger. <laughs>